Hey all, welcome to Stock Talk Pro. In last few months, we are seeing a huge drop in the price of Jubilant Foodworks. From the 900 levels, the stock has came to around 450 levels, a drop of 50%. What has happened is, after COVID, every company has saw a surge in the price. From June 2020, negative profit of 74 crores, they have witnessed a return of 76 crore positive profit in the next quarter. And from there onward, they have started showing very good results quarter on quarter basis and that has added a very good sentiment which has taken the stock from 400 rupees to around 900 rupees if you are expecting the same kind of growth every quarter on quarter and do not get fulfilled that too in last four quarters this is going to get a negative sentiments for the investors and this is what has happened in this stock price has grown exponentially if you see the pe ratio around 2021 it is somewhere around 270 plus so this is a crazy valuation for any company this is not the first time the company is going with this kind of situation it has happened in the past as well that the company has came down with around 40 to 50 percent the company has always came out of this situation in the past due to their experience strategy and the mature management if you start seeing the chart from 2012 onwards the company was at 70 rupees and from there it has grown to 140 rupees becomes double but next year the company again came back to around 98 rupees from 98 again it has gone to 141 rupees came down to back to 94 rupees and then it has gone to 198 rupees if you see the pattern of the price from 2012 onwards it has started growing from 60 and gone to around 140 rupees in just a matter of one year and very next year they dropped to around 87 rupees and then from there onwards they gone to 191 rupees from the price of 74 rupees it has grown to 300 rupees in just a matter of one and a half year so if you can see on my chart this company has always gone into this zigzag path and always try to come overcome the situation now what is happening is the company is, is on the same growth path so if you understand their main growth triggers are the customers right online and offline so for offline they have to have multiple stores they have opened around 73 stores not only in the tier 1 cities but in the tier 2 and tier 3 cities as well their target is to have more than 3000 stores by 2025 currently they are at around 1800 stores so also they have acquired multiple brands like popoy uh, dunkin donuts and these are already a very good established brand and through this also they are increasing their footprint now if you come to the online the quarterly app download is standing at around 9.4 million which is huge monthly active users has grown to around 11.23 million which is a growth of 22.8 percent so what they need they are adding the stores which is going to increase their revenue they are increasing online with the increase of app downloads and the monthly active users they are getting customers now to hold these customers they have to keep the price in control because if they increase the price they may lose the customers and this is the reason why we are seeing a slow growth in the company but the different brands like dunkin donuts and popeyes are live on the different platforms so they are in the path of growing and adding more and more customers not only that popeyes brand is collaborating with coca-cola for the cricket world cup so they are increasing their presence visibility because of inflation the cost of material the cost of transportation employees is increasing and that is why they are hitting on their revenues this is not a matter of concern they know how to manage these situations from past and now they are trying to overcome this and they will overcome very soon because of they have a rich experience in managing these kinds of supply chain and management of customers now they have to deal with the cost inflation which is just a matter of maybe another one year and then the things may start going to be an ease one more thing is interesting to watch here that india is one of the youngest nation in the world and on top of this government of india has announced a new tax regime so you're going to have a sizable disposable income in your hand which will be used for spending outside for sure and the food is one of the important factor where people in spend their money if you see the technical chart on your screen company is also becoming double 
in a matter of two to three years. This is a cyclic company with the price changes, the inflation changes, the price goes up and down, but ultimately this company is going in the upward direction. This is just a small correction in the price, uh, which was expected because of the high valuation. So mm, there's nothing wrong in these companies. They're just going to a different phase. If you're looking for an investment in this company, this is a good time to start with. We can start adding this company from current levels of 450 rupees. And even if it comes down to another 100 rupees, there's nothing to worry about because the company is on the path of growth. Targets is open. Short term targets we can expect is around 600 rupees and then 800 rupees. And from there onwards, we can expect more from this company. So if you like the in-depth analysis of the company, please do not forget to like it, subscribe it and share it with your friends and family. Till then, thank you so much. Bye bye and take care.